for Powerball and all across Southern California, the vision of winning $800 million dancing in our heads. So how could dreams of winning all that money turn into your worst nightmare? David Ray is a certified financial planner for Trilogy Financial, a firm with clients who are past lottery winners. He's here with advice about the pitfalls of winning tomorrow's huge Powerball jackpot. And you're going to help us. We're all dreaming about it, and you'll help us get there and make sure it's a dream and not a nightmare. Absolutely. We've helped a lot of lottery winners over the years, and we want to make sure that this money really turns into a dream. Yes. Not that nightmare you're right. talking about. What could go yeah. wrong? What could go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the things is everyone, when people win, they immediately go on the social media and tell all their friends and family, I just want a zillion bucks. Yeah. Is that a good idea? That's not a great idea. You, you may have won a zillion dollars. We're talking $800 million. Who wouldn't be excited? Who wouldn't want to yell it from the rooftops? But all you're doing is making yourself a target. Every person that you've ever met is going to have their hand out. They're going to ask for money. They're going to ask for some investment. They're going to want you to help, not to mention your loved ones, your family members. And it's very easy. While $800 million may sound like uh -huh. a dream, it can go really quickly once you take taxes and other things out of the uh, equation. Interesting. Okay, we talked about this yesterday in our meeting here yes. at KTLA, the office pool. Yes. When yeah. everybody at the end of the workplace <laughs> gets together, puts in their two bucks, I would imagine if you win the office pool, there's a lot of legal stuff that goes on afterwards. Oh, yeah. Someone says, I was sick that day. I <laughs> right. didn't get my chance. When there's money back. on the line and when there's $800 yeah. million, dollars, again, there's, there's people who are going to fight. Whenever there's money, make sure if you're offering that pool, you talk about it before you win, how we're splitting this, who paid, who didn't pay. Someone should take notes. It, it, it may sound something? dumb, but someone should take responsibility. Put it in an email because then didn't come back. I'm not on the list. You have a little recourse because, again, mm -hmm. for $800 million, people are going to stab you in the back. But the thing is really to just have a list, and that, that's the first step. That's obviously. the first step. I mean, we're, yeah. we're not in the most legal area. I'm not right. a lawyer here. <laughs> right. Someone's going to be complaining no matter what again. True. Like you yeah. said, someone's yeah. sick. I paid $2. You paid $1. You right. owe me $2. Yeah. You owe me money anyways. You just want to make sure you get your money. <laughs> I bought you lunch, I bought you lunch 1982. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. And I'm sure it's important to have a list of the tickets that were bought because some people will go, oh, no, but I bought two on my own and Absolutely. that was, uh, wasn't part of the pool. Yeah. Yes, the person in charge very well, oh, my wife right, bought this ticket over right. here is not yeah. what you want to have happen. Right, Make yeah. sure you're very distinct. I didn't even think of that. Uh, yeah. You know, if you're in the office, photocopy the tickets. We bought these 400 tickets. Here's the photocopies of them. Just right. in case some idiot loses them. Yeah, it can happen. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so and you talked about this a second ago. If you sort of advertise, hey, I won, brings out all the, not just family members, yes. but also scam artists. Scam artists left and right. Surround yourself with trusted financials like a certified financial planner like we offer at Trilogy Financial Attorneys. We can be the bad guy. We can be your protector. You can send them our way to vet those investment great ideas, to be the person that says no. Tell your friends, tell your family that we're developing a financial plan. We're working on how we want to maximize this money for ourselves, for our family, for our loved ones. We'll get back to you. Yeah. So you have some really? time to think about it. You don't have to make a decision on that that one moment when someone's like, give me $10 million, I need it, or mm -hmm. I'm hungry, I need a million dollars for lunch for my kids. Yeah, <laughs> and you know, over the years we've heard horror stories about lotto winners, the fact that somebody could stalk you, kidnap you, I mean, those are unfortunately real threats. Absolutely, those things do happen, people do, cause fraud and all kinds of things around you. They do attack you, they do things along those lines. And even more likely to happen, two out of three lottery winners go broke within two out of three. So two you're getting of millions three. of dollars and you're going broke in five years. So it's even more imperative that you have professionals around you to help you avoid those big mistakes so you can make this a great thing for your family to help make their lives better, make their lives better, and make the money work. Well, just, I mean, let's say we, we want a zillion right now. To help family, is it okay to write them a check or should you set up a Stationers, what's the first thing you would do for people who say, you know, I do want to help some of my family? I think the more you can retain control, like things like college funds for your nieces and nephews rather than just handing the parents a check. If I you see. hand the parents a check, it's probably going to get spent. If the kid's two years old, right. there's 16 years for that money to disappear. If you're setting up a college fund, they can be set and you control it and you make sure they're getting that money for college. You don't want your family to be dependent on you. You don't want this to be an ongoing thing. You want to be improving their life and helping their life rather than being they quit their jobs and you're just paying for the lifestyle, which is going to increase. You know, your sister pulls up in a Ferrari and sends you the bill. <laughs> it's not really what you want to be doing. Right. If you want to buy her a Ferrari, good for you. This is $800 million we're talking about, but you don't want her to send you the bill. Lucky right. for Frank, he's an only child. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about that. David Ray is a certified financial planner for Trilogy Financial. For more information, you can go to TrilogyFS.com. Thanks again for coming in. Thanks, Thanks for having me. All right, coming up, uh, an old...